suppressing of information, of knowledge, is control. So why would someone lie about the shape of the earth? It's to convince people there isn't more land. Why would someone want to limit our knowledge of other lands? Why would they manipulate maps? Why would they manipulate all this stuff? Because deception is the only power they have over us. Some people get afraid when an institution changes or they can't trust something they've always trusted. And I know the feeling, it's scary. It's almost like a divorce. It's like, I don't know what a bank does anymore. I don't know, I can't just send my kid to school. I don't trust them anymore. Well, get used to it. I get why what I'm saying sounds crazy. I used to host a physics podcast at Caltech. Like I used to know so much about space. I loved it. Black holes, neutron stars, white dwarves, red giants, you know, uh, light years, you know, the spaghettification and the event horizon around a black hole because the escape velocity is more, more than 186,000 miles a second. Like, I know I'm rambling, but my point is I know all of that and I used to love it. But the truth is the truth. And I know it sucks to be like, wait a minute, so you're telling me I can't go to another like galaxy? Well, maybe you can. I don't know what galaxy actually means. You know, I don't know what's out there. I don't know, but it's interesting. What happens is you go, I'm scared now because it isn't what I'm used to. Well, welcome to 2021. Your president isn't what you're used to. The bank is to destroy money. The school is to tell you lies. The hospital at this point, unless it's trauma surgery, which Western medicine is still awesome at, they're drug dealers. You know, it's it's terrorism was to create terrorism. The war on drugs was to create drugs. Like, start getting used to adapting and overcoming or you're gonna have a problem. Because these institutions are not what people thought they were and it's time to rebuild. you are seeing the same thing with the vaccine. It's like, okay, the vaccine, you know, two weeks to flatten the curve, once we get a vaccine, it'll prevent you from getting COVID. It's like, okay, now you need two, now you need three. Now everyone needs a vaccine or else they don't work. Now you need a vaccine every six months so you don't have banking privileges. It's like, once you identify the mechanism of the deception, it's so obvious it's a lie. Could it be something besides the flat earth model that Dave Weiss has? Of course, I don't know what it is. That's why I try to avoid statements. I like to ask questions to stay in honor and all that. They don't care. The devil will lie to you all day, every day. And the devil is not accountable for logic because he's fallen. And so you have to keep your line and not freak out and not have all these violent fantasies and not, you know, and just build and have a big family. And if you do that, you win. The devil has no enforcement. All they can do is make you hate yourself and make you, uh, you know, get you to reject your God-given freedoms that you're born with and are inalienable. And so that's the whole game at play right now. And it's getting so comical that I'm, I'm hopeful that people are like, we got to start our own schools. We got to grow our own food. Because until you do that, they're just going to keep getting more and more ridiculous. Before you like beg to go into McDonald's with your vaccine passport, do you know a guy that might be able to raise a cow? And when you do that, the demons like flee. One light and all the shadows go away. It's, it's fascinating. And I've had some dark times and I'm telling you, man, it's like these people can't oppress those who don't want it. Just get a tomato plant, know your neighbor, figure out like how you would collect rainwater because I know they're going to turn up the heat. I promise you they will turn up the heat. They will artificial shortages. They will do all, they will break institutions until people are extra desperate. Then they're going to try and bring in a digital currency with a negative interest rate. So if you don't spend it, they take it back and you're going to have to get a mark based on your vaccine status to get that money. And so if you don't want that biblical hell, you're going to have to start building out of it. And so that's, that's what I've been doing. And that's the message I have for people. That's why the meek shall inherit the earth. It's so true. Like get meek, start crutching. The future's so bright. It's so bright for people willing to speak the truth. As Jimi Hendrix said, let us not talk falsely now. The hour is getting late. It is.